case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1996, a unique legal wrangle involving Admiral Insurance Company and American National Savings Bank unfolded. Admiral Insurance was seeking recovery of $158,000 mistakenly paid out for a policy that, in their view, didn't cover the loss claimed by the bank. The crux of the case revolved around a property that was inaccurately classified as residential occupied by the bank while reporting water damage, when in reality it merited a commercial classification. As events unfolded, Admiral Insurance paid off the bank's claim, only to realize the classification error in the aftermath. Pursuing justice and the recovery of their payment, Admiral Insurance took the case to court, filing motions for summary judgment alongside the bank. The court heard the case, examining the circumstantial evidence and the substantial agreement on the essential facts from both parties. Following deliberation, the court granted partial summary judgment in favor of Admiral Insurance. It was concluded that the bank's misclassification was, in fact, a costly mistake of fact. In a pivotal judgment, the bank was ordered to return the $158,000 mistakenly disbursed by Admiral Insurance. The bank's reliance on previous cases was deemed invalid due to an unpleaded affirmative defense. Further, no substantial evidence was provided by the bank to prove that returning the money would lead to an unfair disadvantage. In conclusion, Admiral Insurance successfully sought restitution due to the bank's mistaken property classification. Conversely, the bank's motion for summary judgment was denied. Other minor claims, denoted as Counts Worst the Third and Ivor, were brushed aside, dismissed without prejudice by the court. This case served as a stern reminder that restitution cannot be barred due to mistakes of fact, particularly in insurance discourses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.